Enjoy this free preview from My Outdoor TV. With the largest library of outdoor shows, we are the home of the adventurous, the champions, the legends. My Outdoor TV. Try us free. This week on The Fowl Life. Well, I left Monroe, Louisiana in the wee hours this morning, made it to Houston, picked Nate up. I just got to El Campo, Texas, and I'm headed up here to Steve Bigger's Lodge right out of El Campo, Texas. We got a special treat this year that uh, our buddy Chad Belden, uh, Fowl Life TV. So I, I think uh, Chad was... Uh, Stopping off in Waco and doing a podcast with the famous uh, Ted Nugent, Uncle Ted. There's a new social platform getting ready to launch by a farming family in Maryland that are backing this. It's called Camo Space. And C Camo Space? Yes, and it's by uh, an American farming family to launch this platform of no sensitivity, no shame, bring your hunting, fishing, farming, plowing, providing conservation resource storage, stewardship, resource stewardship yeah. stories over here. Let's build a community to where we don't have to get knocked down for being a hunter on these other ones that don't support our lifestyle. Yep. And we're just getting shadow banned yep. left and right. Monster. So I would love Ted Nugent to have a home on camo space. I like the idea, I wanna be there. Yeah. What is the riff that you would baptize this season with? Well, I'm gonna come up with a brand new one right now. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Can I please have that pick? Huh? Can I please have you that may. pick? Oh, look at that. That will bring you much mojo. Thank you, Mr. Ted Nugent. You bet, man. God bless Enjoy you. Enjoy your 2022-23 season. Like a man in heat. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I can't wait. Good talking to you, man. Good talking Great to you. Great campfire. Thank you. a good friend of mine living on the bayous in Evangeline pretty as a picture in a magazine about the prettiest little thing you ever seen back up on the muddy water down where the big fish go I'm running on the banks in little Piro. All right, guys, what do you think? I think we ought to hunt here in the morning. It's a lot of ducks, buddy. There's a lot of flooded second crop rice all around us. Do you see the ducks on the far side, Chad? Uh -huh. They're all sitting up in that real skinny water, and they're washing that rice down their crawl. 
Look at the blue wings. Yeah, a bunch of them. We've even you see seen it straight it. out here. Yeah, I do. Yes. I do. No, so that's not rice. That's, that's actually not. we call it duck salad um, that grows with the heat. So that we plowed that ground, and then naturally it just comes up with the heat. And the ducks snack on it. They graze on it. The geese love it. Out there, they're just they're just resting and sitting in the mud and soaking up some sun. But you know what? Tomorrow morning, the rents do. Yeah. <laughs> The Fowl Life is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Follow us at thefowllifetv.com. Is that the only reason it's prevalent for ducks in this area is because of the rice? That and it on the pathway to the Laguna. So our birds are going to Mexico, depending on the weather. So the Central Flyway doesn't just quite end in Texas. It goes all the way into Mexico. So they're coming. I think the answer to your question, uh, Chad, is that Texas is so big and so diverse, they just don't get known for this. You know, there's, there's yes. too many other things to be known for. You right. know, they got the West Texas part. You know, they got all the people in the Central Texas part. They got the Hill Country. They got the Panhandle, and so this this area just don't get talked. Well, about. and again, we, Chad and I talked about it too. We just don't get the mallard. Yeah. So everybody wants to kill them out. Sure. And we do. just don't get them. Yeah. But we get lots of ducks. Yeah. Thousands of ducks. Two, three. Yeah, folks make fun of my old John Bull, but the motor still runs, the hull still flows. Still drag her down to the same old hole behind the same old truck I bought years ago. Last a while if you treat them right. Still clean fish with grandpa's life. Stuff and not days, it ain't worth jack. I'd rather spend my money on a cold six pack. Opening morning, early blue wing kill season. We're on about the 10th day of September. We're back in the blue wing capital of the U.S. We're down in El Campo, Texas with our friend Steve Biggers. Just kind of a feast or famine. Uh, early morning thing, they fly for about a couple hours right after uh, first light, and that's all they're going to fly. So you can't mess around too long. You got to do it early in the morning because you're going to have two hours, it's going to be over with. So as you can see, there's a full moon. They love to migrate on a full moon. So uh, the day is Saturday, the day is the day of the full moon. So there's probably ducks here this morning that wasn't here yesterday, and there'll probably be ducks here in the morning that wasn't here today. So it's always good down here. So uh, it'll be light in a few minutes. Let's give it a try. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they're right here, right here. They come in, we're shooting, okay? Get them, get them. Good shot. Loading cooler and a 
if you want to lend a hand, grab me another one. Get him, get him, get him. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Ain't a lot of change going on around here. The same old boy with a brand new beer. Oh, a brand new beer. And I'm mighty proud of how I get him, get him, get him. I'll raise my shot to do the same. To pray out of church, they get paid when they do the work. You can say a lot of change going on around here. A bunch of good old boys with a brand new beer. I pray, moving out of church, get paid when we do the work. Ain't a lot of change going on around here. The same old boy with a brand new beer. Good shot. Brand new beer. So, well, thank you, Terry. This has been a pleasure. Number one, thank you, Steve. You're welcome. Sounds good on that call. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Mountain Creek Retrievers. Day number one, El Campo, Texas. Blue Wing Till, September 2022. Like Terry said, it's a, a blessing that we get to come down and do this this early. But man, these till, they're just, it's awesome to see ducks cup up and and work over the mojos like that. I don't know how many teal you'd kill if it wasn't for the mojo. I'd say that the mojo teal and mojo brand as a whole is responsible for 90% of the teal deaths in America in the last 20 years. Is that fair to say? Yes. Huh? Yes. I mean, they eat that thing up, don't they? Yeah. They see it and it just, and then with these flock of flickers, the addition of those in the spread, Terry, their teal don't stand a chance, so. I'm happy to be here. Let's go get these cleaned up and get ready to put them on the grill. Additional consideration for the fowl life is brought to you by... Socialize with us at the Foul Life TV. I'm the rambling man from a rambling town. Got nothing better to do than just ramble around all oh, mama. But don't you try to tie me down. Now watch this, let me show you something. Feel this bone straight up here at the top mm -hmm. where their craw comes in? Yeah. Watch this, you pinch that right there with your index finger and your thumb and you rip it straight towards his, his head. You got that right there and then it's just one swipe down and you're done. Ready to breast. Then you don't have to really... Uh, Dig in there and see if that's black cloud. That's black cloud. Look at that tenderloin, Terry Demon. Probably not. I don't think he hit one today. Yeah, Me? That's a hen. He killed that hen, yeah. Very rude, Terry. So I was talking to Biggers. He's uh, one part of the celebration here for Blue Wing is the poppers. Band playing. They're going to do some bacon wrapped teal poppers. Um, I told him you can't put cream cheese on them. So he says that they're going to balance it out. They're not going to have cream cheese on every one of them. but. Fresh Texas jalapenos, and I'm excited for that. I know they're gonna be spicy. But yeah, that's what we got to look forward to is some skin on, some skin off. El Campo, Rocky Creek Retriever, Blue Wing Teal 2022. Poppers tonight. Y'all stay tuned. Benjamin Jack Wait, don't you try to tie me down? But anyway, I wanted Dale here for opening weekend. Glenn Vaughn and his wife Michelle helped us too. We kind of pitched in and did this together. They're kind of expensive, but they're, they're good. <laughs> I think you're really going to enjoy it. Dale's a hell of a guy, works hard, he's got a great band. So give it a hell, Dale. Go blind. 
She can make a man give up the doubt. Give up without even trying. She's my baby. Duff's ready. He's been amazing so far. Rocky Creek Retrievers, Green Wing Teal. Texas has uh, lived up to every expectations. We're not done yet. I'm fired up. It's the Foul Life 2022-23 season. Duff is ready. He's having a blast. Stay with us. I knew all along this landing never was real. Guess I'm better in a fall. Get him, get him. Oh. We're, we're sitting here with Jacob, he's a musician. This is like Axl Rose lead singer John Bonham. <laughs> Get him right there. Well, I miss the flame we shared in the spring. How could I forget? Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty. We got us some teal, boy. <laughs> The Foul Life is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Closed captioning for The Foul Life provided by Realtree Brand Camo. See, hey, what's, uh, which dog is this you got this morning? This is Mojo, Terry. This is a dog that I bought right after y'all first started hunting with me, and I named him Mojo. Yeah, a little gray on his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's about seven years old now. Yeah. Going to be eight this winter, but uh, yeah. he's got a lot of horsepower. He's, yeah. uh, he loves to hunt. Coming back, coming back hard, coming back hard. <laughs> I had a girl, sweet teacher, right at the family. Kiss me good night, she don't love me no more. I can't drop Kill him right there. Kill him right there. Good shot right there. That was pretty. Hope you know, when that dog goes out, it makes a lot of water motion, water sound, and all stuff like that. You know, usually get ducks because they see that motion, they hear that water sound, and here they come. Get him, get him. Shot TD. Walk up. Big top falling from the right. Eli. Kill those three. Get him. Get him. Get him. Right 
We got them. I got just enough of money to get something good going on. Well, but I won't keep on coming if she don't want me around. If yeah, she stole my heart, she killed my pride, but she can't put me in the ground. Well, she can't put me in the ground. Coming up out of the ground, trees that don't grow tall. We run a thousand head of cattle out on this place, just me, Ma, and Paul. Got the leech heroes running through it, like the veins in his worn out body. As a kid, I'd stand on that old platform, shoot the skate with my 14 shotty. When he bought this place, 